Bang! Needs Knives. I'm Jared, and today we are reviewing the Critical Mini by Kaiser, and it's designed by Matt Christensen, CK Knifeworks. You can see his logo right there. Now, hey guys, if you like Kaisers and you want some discounts, I'm going to link it below. Mojave Outdoors, they got discounts for a bunch of their knives. They also have the Kaiser Mini Sheepdog Non-Flipper available back on their site so go check them out mojave outdoors i'm gonna link it below um they have amazing knives on there they got great discounts so definitely check them out let's get back to the video now i got this for right around a hundred dollars now the beauty of it is that it's 3v 3v gray micarta steel liners and a deep carry clip that we'll get into all that stuff here in a second now it's a worn cliff blade shape or, you know, a modified worn cliff. You call it a sheep's foot if you want. Um, the edge is not 100% flat. It does have a little bit of taper right here in the tip. And I'll show a picture of it sitting on the surface of something flat so you can see that. So it's not perfectly flat, but it's, you know, it's flat enough. It's basically a flat edge, you know, which would um, indicate a worn cliff. But you can call it a modified worn cliff. Anyways, the 3V on it you know i was questioning i guess um does it make sense like does 3v make sense on this knife because 3v is kind of a fixed blade steel it's more of a steel for fixed blades and hard use and it's a really tough steel so but it does hold a great edge as well now we don't see it in a lot of pocket knives and the pocket knives we do see it on normally are harder use pocket knives. And this isn't a hard use pocket knife. It's just not, I mean, it doesn't, you know, it's, it's hard enough. So I'm not saying it's a light duty EDC or anything like that. It's not that it definitely has T8 hardware, which I do love to see. And then this full steel liners, they are milled out for weight relief and the stop pin is, you can see it right there. It's nice and early. It's an okay size stop pin. It's not a massive one, but it's it's okay. Um, you know, regular size stop pin. You know, liner lock. The lockup is very strong. I've already tested it, and you know, side to side, very strong. The grind. The you know, it's a flat ground blade, but you know, it's not really even a hard use blade shape. It's, you know, a utility blade shape, more for, you know, utility cutting. Now, obviously, you can still slice with it, and we'll talk about that too. But was this the right choice of steel for this knife? And so what I've gotten from it, and I've sharpened it, we'll get into that here in a minute and everything. And I'll, I'll kind of talk about, as we move along, my ideas or my opinion on the 3V. But the ergos of this thing is really, really good. You know, it's nice. It has a nice depth here, nice thickness, very comfortable. The micarta is nice and soft. It's good quality micarta. It's kind of, you know, it's not fuzzy. But it kind of is fuzzy. It's, you know, it's definitely the good textured micarta that you like to see. And, you know, the, the, the grip length is short. It doesn't give you a lot. But with this little taper right there, it lets you get a full grip. So, pretty comfortable. Uh, the jimping on the spine right here, not a big fan of it. But, you know, it still works pretty good. You are oh, quite a bit distance away from the edge. And you don't really have a place to put this finger. Now, sometimes I was putting my finger right over it like that for cutting. But cutting with it the geometry the geometry is decent it's not great uh but it's it's okay it's good it cuts it cuts pretty good um because of this straight back right here you you know you do have a significant amount of leverage into your cuts that do help with the you know the cutting performance so cutting with it, it cuts pretty good i did bring it to work i worked with it um, actually a few days I worked with it because I was trying to really test out this steel and see how it would perform under harder use scenarios. And, you know, it did hold up. It held up good. Um, and like I said, it, it, it does cut relatively good. Now the utility cuts, because that's where this thing's really going to shine. I mean, it has the a nice tip and it's not a dainty tip. It's, it's in a good 
thickness area where it's acute enough to do a you know, acute cuts, but not so dainty to where you're worried it's going to just snap off or roll as soon as you, you know, touch something with it. And being 3V, you know, it should be relatively tough. So um, using it, though, it worked really good. The utility cuts are really good. I even cut extremely thick cardboard. And um, I have a, a little clip I'm going to show of some pretty decently thick cardboard. And, you know, it cuts through it no problem. Um, so, you know, the utility cuts are really good. Now with like thinner stuff, you know, thinner cardboard, you can do all the, the S cuts and the circles and do all of that. It works just fine, you know, kind of like a utility blade. So it's basically like a heavy duty utility blade, you know, with the uh, utility cuts. So cuts really good. The choil, it does have a sharpening choil and the plunge grind is held back a little bit. Um, it, it's good. It's not great, but it's okay. It's in that category of which I'm okay with it. It's not bad. So that's awesome. Um, you can see kind of where the plunge grind ends. It does end, you know, like about halfway up this circle, about right there. So you do have a decent amount to get rid of. The problem I have is that this circle right here could have been a little deeper or a little taller. And I'm only saying that because I've only put in one edge on it. So it's had one edge. So now think about the next edge. You know, it doesn't, you're not going to get a significant amount of edges before you run out of choil, but it's okay. They gave you a, enough to, to do a few sharpenings without a problem. Now, next. So um, as you can see here, it's got a G10 collar right there, pivot collar on both sides and G10 backspacer with this um, lanyard hole. Action. The action is pretty good. Um, I mean, the detent is strong and it does have the jimping is the kind of jimping I don't really like, but it works for this. It does work. It's not bad. It's kind of spread apart jimping, but in this case, it works great for this flipper tab. So the detent, like I said, is nice and strong. It's more of like a light switch kind of a flipper tab, but you can absolutely get away with doing a push button. And um, you have a little spot right here for your finger if you like to do the... That was my fault. If you like to um, do like the in-between where you kind of go in between a push button and a light switch. Now, unlocking at the lock bar, very easy to get to. And it's not overly strong, so it's nice and comfortable to unlock. And the detent ball is nice and early, which I love to see. It lets me be able to unlock it and swing it down without hitting the detent that was my fault again but you can let it drop and it's pretty smooth it's not false shut or anything like that you don't expect it to be um but very very smooth and it's getting smoother and smoother the more i use it and play with it and i can absolutely drop it right down nice and centered so um the action's really good the detent's really good the uh the you know the smoothness on the drop is really nice and it, it's nice it's good good action it's not it's not bad at all so let's get into the clip and carry so the clip works fantastic i like this clip i like the way it works it's not inset but it the the piece where your your pants have to get over it has flat screws so it's very easy for your pocket to get over that little tiny hump and it works great in and out of the pocket is fantastic. I'm very happy with this clip. It is a deep carry clip. You do have a little bit that hangs out of the pocket, but not much. And, you know, regardless, that's not that big of a deal of whether or not how deep, you know, if some's hanging out of your pocket, it's just whether or not it works in and out of the pocket very well. And it does. It works great. Okay, now. Going back to the steel and sharpening before we get to some of the bad things. So I did sharpen it. Now, one of my questions was, you know, during use was how the edge and everything was going to hold up. So one of the things I wanted to do was I wanted to really get this tip into really hard work. 
because I wanted to see if it was going to roll or, you know, round off or whatever. And it actually, it held up good. It did. It did roll, you know, like it did start to, um, round off a little bit, but I kind of expected that because I was putting it through quite a bit, you know, three V's a tough steel, but I mean, there's only so much any steel is going to be able to handle and it held up great. The, the edge retention from the factory edge, I can't really base too much off of a factory edge because, you know, edges do become burnt and everything. And I'm not going to say this one came with a burnt edge or anything because, I, I, you know, it, it held up pretty good. I did get a significant amount of cutting done with it before it went dull. But, um, but you know, it, uh, I mean, it was fine. It, I mean, it wasn't... It wasn't bad. I mean, it's not like I got only a little bit of cutting done and it went dull. It, it held up. It held, held up pretty good. But putting it to the stone, I wanted to see, well, one, what kind of grit is this steel going to take? Was it gonna? Is it going to be able to take a polish and keep its bite? Is it going to, you know, just everything about sharpening it, how's it going to feel on the stone? So... Sharpening it, I did sharpen it up, and I went to a polish, and it actually took a pretty damn good polish. Um, now, there was one little or a couple little issues, but just based on the grit, it felt good through all the grits. The steel felt good on the stones. It sharpened up really good, and it took a good polish. I actually have the polish on it right here. Um, I didn't do a really low angle I um, kind of did a little bit more of a higher angle and I kind of did that on purpose just because, you know, it's 3V and, you know, it, it gets decent cutting performance with this angle. Now, let's see if we can get it to come up. It's got a good polish though. It did take a good polish and it kept a significant amount of bite. Now, one of the issues that it had is that this grind is very uneven. So if you look at it, we'll try to see if I can pick it up on camera, but you'll notice, look how thin the, 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 the edge is right here. It's thicker here. It gets thinner here. And then look how thicker it gets right here. It's thinner in this whole area right here. Look at the edge bevel. The edge bevel is so much smaller right there than it is right here. That's the same angle. It's the same angle. It's just, uh, it's thinner right here than it is right here. And the tip, eh, it kind of does the same thing, but that's kind of normal. But then the other side, it's kind of the same way, not as bad. But maybe we can get to come up like, if you kind of look down, at, if it'll come up on camera. The point is, well, this side wasn't as bad. This side's actually relatively straight. You can see it a little bit right there. But this side, it does have some inconsistencies in the grind. So not that big of a deal, but still a thing. Um, so sharpening it, it sharpened up good, it took a good edge, but you know, it did have some, uh, inconsistencies in the grind, but it did come out very, very sharp. Now, bad things, some bad things. So, and I want to talk about, before we get into bad things, what do I think about the steel being on here? I'll be honest. I didn't notice much difference. I really didn't. You know, one, it's not really a knife that you can do certain things that, like, it's not a hard use knife. So how can I really expect to get the, the, the certain level of performance out of it that I would expect from 3V? And the only ways I could come up with was, you know, really using that tip in the grinding, you know, in the hard surfaces and stuff while I'm cutting. And it held up good. So, I mean, maybe, maybe it's a good steal. I mean, I, I'll say this. It's not bad. I don't think it's a bad choice. I just don't know. Like, maybe there would have been a better choice because this isn't stainless. This will patina. It will corrode rather quickly. 3V does. You do have to take good care of it. You have to keep it dry. You want to keep it clean. You want to keep it oiled. But do I think it's a bad choice? Not really. I mean, it's it's it seems good. I mean, it seemed like a good steal. Um, maybe I just haven't had it long enough to really tell the difference. I mean, but I've done a lot of work with it. I mean, I I don't know. 
you know, it's it's one of those things where I don't notice much difference than if it was 14C or if it was um, 154CM. I really don't. Now, maybe there is and maybe I'll notice it in the long run, but I don't notice it off of, you know, a few days at work and cutting stuff around the house and, you know, trying to beat it up. It, does it seem like a tough steal? Yeah, I guess. I mean, does it seem like it's tougher than, say, uh, 154CM or 14C20 then? No, not really. I mean, but I don't know. You know, I, I'm not prying with it. I'm not chopping with it. So it feels like a good steal. That's what it feels like, a good quality steal. That's what it feels like. The heat treat feels like a decent heat treat too. But, you know, without being able to do the things that, that where or do the the perf, the performances where 3v would shine i can't really do with this thing next thing I, i'm kind of beating a dead horse here i'm sorry guys so next thing the bad what do i think is bad about it? well one we already talked about it the grind is a little off you know in some areas um next thing i i think this was a poor choice for the lanyard hole um I don't think that that's a one a good thing at all. It's pokey. I mean, when I put it in my hand and I go to flip it, that's what's the, where my pressure is going. The pressure is going right there, just like that, into my palm. So I think it would have been a better idea to just round this off and just get rid of the lanyard hole altogether. Um, and if you're gonna need to put, if you have to put a lanyard hole, just bring the whole scales all the way down and make it a hidden one or something. Because it just, yeah. Um, next thing. Is this jimping. I'm not a big fan of this kind of jimping. It's spread apart. It doesn't really, doesn't really create too much traction, really. I mean, you see me, I'm just sliding back and forth. It, but it, it's not that, it's not like it's annoying or anything. I just, I would prefer a uh, tighter jimping jimping that like like what's on the kaiser october something like this something that actually gives you some grip now the jimping on the lock bar is done good i don't mind that jimping that jimping is actually pretty nice it feels good on the hand nice and comfortable it's not bad at all um and then the jimping on the flipper tab normally i wouldn't like that that kind of jimping but it works just fine on this knife you know, on this flipper tab with this detent, etc. But all in all, I think it's a great knife. I like the knife. I think it's a great deal for around a hundred dollars. You're getting three V micarta. Build quality is really good. Action's good. Ergos are good. Um, an okay choil. So I'm happy with it. Um, I think it's a good buy if you do get it, and I think it's uh, pretty awesome. Um, I like that Kaiser deals with a lot of different designers. I think that's awesome. Here is the Kaiser October with a size comparison really quick. The October is slightly, very, very slightly shorter. Not by much, though. Ooh, you guys can't see it. Not by much, though. It's a, it's basically the, basically the same size knife. Here is the QSP Penguin. Relatively same blade shape. A uh, good size comparison. The Kaiser is just a tiny bit longer than the QSP. And then here's the Deviant. Another good size comparison. They're very close in size. If I can actually put it on camera for you guys. And, uh, you know, just for one that most people know, here is the Spyderco PM2. And you can see the PM2 is quite a bit bigger. So, yeah, there you guys go. There's my thoughts on the Kaiser Critical Mini. Now, they do have the, the large critical, which is a titanium knife, and it is a large knife. So... If you're loving this knife, but you wish it was in titanium and larger, well, then you have, they do have the Kaiser Critical, which, you know, is a pretty cool knife. I know a lot of people liked it. 
I'm not sure if it got a lot of hype, but I know a lot of people did like it, though. The people that did have it. So there you guys go. I love you guys.